Um, and apparently we're underway as well oh. with the game. You know what? Don't, don't tell Teapot. Just stay, Angels. Just no, stay. It's going to be okay. Teapot knows. Get the monitor. Bye, Rory. Teapot doesn't know. It's okay. You can stay in cast. Guys, I know what's going on here. And once again, here we are. Great, we this are... guy's back. Yeah. Oh, I mean, look. Come on. We oh, Teapot, your headphones on. Welcome back, Teapot. Oh, yeah, finally, we got rid of Angels. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, here we go. <laughs> game <laughs> one of the Skill Cab versus yeah. Team USA. Let's see what happens. Urantian actually going for mid. Toker is going to be there to contest it. No one from skill cap from blue team going to be going to try and contest the waterfall. And it's going to be Mark now left here alone to fend off against the other four players here of skill cap as they aggress on them very heavily. Urantian though will be outnumbered, obviously, and forced away from mid, trying to get back to his base in time. He does get the stealth off of Toker, and he might be able to escape with his life at the moment, though. Mark actually gets caught in favor. Team um, USA, he is. Yeah, yeah Mark eliminated there, and there's probably not going to be much res potential there. It looks no, like um, no. maybe pushing his luck up a little bit going into that contest uh, over there on the quite does actually get eliminated, and you're able to escape back off to the team, and Murr able to reset. Oh, massive healing coming out uh, onto that soul boost, actually, completely resetting that. Mark actually self resing. Um, yeah, however, it has now been noticed by Euro, who will be able to deny that very, very easily. Absolutely, Anya. yeah. And I do really like this split here from Skill Cap. They they recognize that Helio is probably going to push Waterfall, so they didn't even bother doing it. They went, they had Yura go into the middle node, knowing that he could probably contest outnumbered, and they went for the easy kill, or quick kill, I should say, not necessarily easily kill, on Mark there at the quarry. And this allows them to put into this team fight a lot better. A couple longbow shots away from Ooh. Toker going down. So he's so very low, but he might oh, escape oh. on just 2% HP in his base. Xenius looking for the kill. Is he going to get it? Oh. No! Toker's going to be able to escape away with his life, but this should allow go cap to push on to middle node however mark coming in off a respawn and toker getting back in here in about 10 seconds or so will allow the usa to hold back onto this if they can stay alive here's rome is still going to be pressured out very hard all five players here from skill cap looking for the kill they are going to get him down helio and naru only going to be able to look as zeromis gets stomped out and the stagger has begun a nice decap yeah. on Corey from toker and Still good kills so far here. Naru's in trouble here as well, actually. Like he actually ends up getting caught, and he, I think you can really see the effect of that early kill on Mark. Right, not having the yeah. condition revenant in the team fight was definitely causing them a lot of problems there in in being able to team fight effectively. And uh, you know that's you know you can you can say I, th I think it was a bit of a mishap there for Team USA. Uh, that's I think that they weren't really planning for that, weren't really accounting for that in their kind of opening strategy there. And you know skill cap they aren't really able to uh, get much out of that. They looks like they were going to cap mid, and but they do end up losing. Uh, losing the quarry and the waterfall in exchange for that. So they've still got a lot of more. They need to get a lot more than that if they want to actually win this game uh, into a, a team as strong as Team USA. Yeah, they do decap the quarry, though, and they are potentially going to be able to get the full cap there. Murr holding mid down against Helio's longbow, but there shouldn't really be too much happening there. It's really going to come down to Toker, actually, again, just kind of being chased out by Xenius. He's going to head back into mid, though. Have to see if he's going to be able to get any potential there. Getting slowed down a little bit there by Durantian as he makes his way over towards Corey, where at the moment Hannibal going to be very low, and Toker going in for the kill. He is going to be able to apply a lot of pressure, and that will be the Necro going into downstate. There is a lot of cleave on top of that. Toker not going to be able to stay in the red. He's going to be good from skill cap. However, let's see if they're going to be able to turn it around. A lot of them pretty low. Naru is pretty low himself. RF not available. He's going to be going down for sure. That's going to be the kill picked up on the Firebrand now from Team USA. But the res is going to be even better this time from Team USA. And they're going to be getting Naru right back up. Toker at the moment putting some pressure on Hannibal. But, but Naru focus will fall is good. yet again. Xenius there on the dagger on top of it. Too. Mark actually going to be in pretty low shape himself on top of that res. I don't know if they're going to be able to get it. Zeromus and Helio going in for the res, but the cleave is going to be there. And Mark now might be going down in turn for Naru. But once again, the Firebrand back up on his feet from Team USA. Yeah, that was just not quite enough cleave coming out uh, from skill cap. The, the Lich comes through now, but I presume Hannibal just wasn't really in a position to use it up until then. And they're going to try and change up the targets, maybe try and take out uh, Zeromus, but they lose the Thief and the Necromancer. And oh, that was a bit of a heartbreak for skill cap, Roy, after doing so well in that fight and generating a down state twice, three times in a row. They end up getting it completely reversed. And now with the Lich coming out from Zeromus, I think things are looking very, very scary. Uh, Four skill caps over there on that particular. There's another this kill. Is a total map on, reset uh, here for Team USA. Oh, and yeah. I, I gotta be honest, that res, that first res on Naru was so well done there by Team USA. Honestly, you can tell how well they were communicating there. Naru told them exactly when he was gonna go down. They all went on top. He was he wasn't even in downstate for a full second, I don't think, that first time. And, and honestly, that's just that's just pretty impressive to me able to uh, to get that firebrand back up and, and then the second res as well. So as you said, a heartbreaker indeed. Side nodes now going the way of Team USA and middle may be going the way as well. Skill cap you need to be careful they don't overextend into it before respawns coming out. As Murr has just gotten back into respawn. Anya still a couple seconds away from being completely respawned himself. 
and it's it's certainly not looking too good for skill cap a very close fight but it is going to be certainly much in favor for team usa yeah absolutely doubling up on the points there and just that i think that final that fight there was just that was very very decisive there that was kind of the moment where team usa firmly grasped uh, this game within their hands and we can already see that they're very likely to end up on a three cap as a result of that You see Helio able to lock down the waterfall meanwhile the necromancer of Zoromis capping mid and yeah that It might be very difficult uh, for skill cap to really get anything more in this game That might be kind of as far as they go in this situation if mark is able to rotate over to this team fight uh, on the waterfall I think that might be kind of where the game is decided uh, in just a few moments So we'll see how that's gonna come through there but yeah i think team usa is not going to be willing to give this up now the revenant isn't quite there and the thief of skill cap is actually going to be able to get some good value on the map might be able to get a full reset actually I'm able to get the decap here on the graveyard as well looking like quite likely helio coming up to intercept that not going to quite make it no he's going to go back into the team fight anyway i think at team usa they just want to get those kills they are holding w and that is a good strategy for them right now if they can just keep getting kills they can deny any chance of a comeback and actually getting a good escape there uh, you know team is not going to be able to grab him but all of his cooldowns are burned and zerome is a little bit exposed here but with full shroud he is going to be completely completely fine for the immediate future absolutely and we should see them able to hold this down but that team fight over at the quarry it was very close and there's definitely potential for skill cap to be able to do it again if they can find a team fight if they can win a team fight they can flip the map back just as we saw team usa do however they're gonna have to start doing it soon as the points are about 200 difference at the moment and hannibal getting forced away here mer trying to peel for him he is going to be forced into the lich and he is going to be pretty low mark now going to be using his glint heal longbow shots coming in now from helio to help pressure out the necro there from skill captain they're probably going to have to continue to keep pushing back into their base is is looking for a decap but it's not going to happen helio notices it mark now actually may be going a little bit low however it looks like toker actually going to go down first Unfortunately, overextending a little bit. Mark going to be pretty low on that res, too. They do get it, but Mark may be falling down. However, it's going to be Xenius, the one going down here. Anya going to be even lower now after that res here, and they're again forced to go back into their base. Anya, though, unfortunately, is not going to make it, and that will be yet again another team fight going the way of Team USA. The kills just a little bit too much in their favor. The damage, the focus. And the res is very, very strong there from Team USA. This is going to be so frustrating for Skill Cap because they're almost winning, right? They're almost, they're almost doing yeah, it. They're almost doing it, but then it just turns on. They're not able to get enough cleave for whatever reason. There are, there, I mean, for, there are two reasons there, right? The res discipline is excellent from Team USA, right? As soon as they're, they're, they're in fact, they're probably already like mashing F before the downstate even comes. So they're very much ready for that downstate to happen, and then immediately getting two or three players immediately restored. <laughs> that player back up to their fully active state so very well played there by team USA to kind of recover from a bit of an unfortunate situation um, and get back into that fight and then immediately turn and get a kill on a very key player such as the condition herald yeah and I would like to I would like to see if skill capped you know we saw that very very first fight after they got that kill on mark and they turned it into a couple of more kills it looked like their focus was very very good but the last couple of fights it seems like it's been a little bit split and i'd be interested to see if they are on the same target or if they've kind of you know changed it up a little bit i think toker did actually more overextend more than got focused out there in that kill you see helio head over towards the waterfall for decap but i would like to know if, if they are all on the same target this whole time hannibal getting trained down by team usa there's maybe a res it does come out but the health bar is not looking very very hot at the moment here for skill cap they're going very low hannibal probably going to be right back into downside he is urantian murn just unable to peel for him there's no res potential here after the decap on waterfall as helio comes back in to help peel help cleave his teammates and that is probably going to start the end of this game. I think Murr falling as well. Corey gets picked up by Xenius coming in there for the full caps. They're almost a little bit low in mid, actually. They could turn this into a kill. Naro and Toker are here to potentially res this mark coming back in from the waterfall as well. I don't know if they're going to be able to stop this res from happening. I don't I don't think they have the cleave there, unfortunately. So you see on Toker. Ooh, maybe. There's maybe a chance. It. Stop coming out from Xenius. No, unfortunately, it's not going to happen. And Anya goes down. Oh, here. the CC. The rally. Oh, they're trying to get the Shadow Step Storm. But no, it's not going to be good enough. I don't think. No. No. it's not quite good enough and yeah that's just a, another slightly heartbreaking moment like the com combination of the res discipline just not quite enough there's too much counter pressure coming out from team usa just denying that res now magic toker is going to get caught here uh, but the fear ring is very good there and that should be revival and that is going to be essentially gg we already have helio over here he kind of knows what he's got to do like all he's got to do is die on point if it comes to it and this game will be over and i think team usa is certainly going to be going up 1-0 uh, here on Legacy. But, you know, Temple, oh, yeah, anything can happen on Temple.
temple right that's where things can really get weird and you know maybe some of these slightly fairly close engagements actually some pretty close engagements are coming out from uh you know coming out from skill captain to usa maybe they can actually make something happen there on that map healer going to try and solo the lord i don't think he really has enough time um to actually get away with that before the game is over but we will see i guess everything's getting neutralized now so he might be able to uh, there we go oh look at that is looking cinema oh that is looking cinematic angels my goodness wow absolutely oh the ui is off oh wow look at that guys this is some good stuff there. Look at that ghostly lord just going crazy. Now, you do have to kill the casters. Uh, something quite bad happened to French worms during one month the AT there. Uh, you know, if you don't kill those, it will just heal Hold up very that effectively. Thought for just a second, Chief <laughs> Buzz. Romus going in a downstate here at mid. Mur with a very nice stop. No res going to be there. That'll be the decap on mid almost certainly as Mark going to be the only one left there to try and hold that down. Corey, though, unfortunately, probably will not get decap. Oh, no. I take that back. We're going to see Urantian almost certainly getting the decap there. Helio not going to be able to do it. And the map is neutral, but... At the moment, obviously, a very, very hard game for Team USA to throw away. They only need three kills or a cap for about 12 seconds, and that would be game. I don't think we're going to see it happen, but Team USA has been stalled for just a second. We might as well keep a look at it while we do have this going on. Zeromus, though, off respawn is going to be able to plus into Corey. Anya already a little bit low. All Team USA need to do is win one fight, and that will be game confirmed. But the double cap does come out for skull cap. Yeah, that is, um, it's something, right? And well, a double cap actually isn't enough for them to win this game. They actually need to go for the triple if they want to go because they only have three minutes remaining just on the timer. So it's still not looking good either way. And with that kill on Murr, if USA is able to cleave that Should out, that's essentially going to end it. It does get res, but we also see a huge amount of pressure coming out there. Lots of damage uh, from Team USA going out all over the place on to skill captain skill captain's gonna have their thief back off a little bit and you know, maybe if they can actually find a kill here onto usa like maybe they'll come for toka here but it looks like they might get tokers are gonna go down yeah, yeah your gonna go down. longbow shot's gonna take him out he definitely has potential to be res Mur not gonna be able to be on top of that either he's gonna be in downstate and team usa converging on top of that downstate for all their worth the blood is still ticking on toker he's not completely resed up yet though mark looking for some pressure on Amur. he is gonna be able to get back up now and the stomp coming out from mark on Amur is gonna be good now only eight points away is Team USA, and they should be able to find those points off of the kill, unless Skullcap can find a kill right now onto potentially Naru. I don't think it's going to happen, though. They just don't have the cooldowns. They don't really have the health bars. Naru very dangerously low, though, but unfortunately, Skullcap way too split. Xenius way too low. Hannibal getting peeled down now by Mark. Toker gets a decap on mid just to slow down Skullcap's points, and we should see another kill coming out now as Xenius is about to fall. Hannibal going to go down out of the Lich from Zeromis, and that off that kill will be game. And that's going to be it, essentially. There's only three points. I mean, it's still not over. There are no caps for Team USA right now. Uh, so uh, it's not it's not quite over but, I mean, down, on kidding. paper. But yeah, with a kill on Anya, I think the stop is coming through from the Ranger. And that is it. GG well played. Team USA goes up 1-0. Uh, in that game and why well, to be honest though if you look at the score I mean I, I think the score is kind of lying a little I think Team USA maybe kind of like memed a little bit towards the end if you could see that flat line on their score uh, while the blue nodes kind of ticked away but uh, yeah that was uh, maybe maybe not quite the cleanest game in the universe from USA but certainly a very dominating performance overall there in the team fight uh, skill cap just not quite able uh, to get away with that and secure those kills yep we're going to get started in just a few seconds and yeah I think something that really helped out skill cut is they did have a good start. Mark uh, did end up getting caught there, and that, you know, eventually lost Team USA, like the, one of the first kind of initial scuffles in that match. And I think that's quite unlikely to happen again. I think that was just a little slip up there from Mark. That probably wouldn't wouldn't usually happen in a game, so I don't think he's going to be looking to make that mistake. Uh, we see skill cut not going for their close, not getting us in the ultra at all. They're again going to kind of do a similar strategy and try and push directly onto Mark. I'm not sure if that's the best idea here. I think he's going to be very difficult. Team USA are ready for it. Yeah, and they're ready for it as well. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of that, uh, but you know, they as do actually soon... freak out mid. They do freak up the gate, which is something actually. As soon as they saw Urantian on middle node, they knew that they were about to be grassed on over at Temple, and Zeromus actually taking a little bit of early heat here. But skill cap not gonna be able to get the early advantage like we saw in the last match, where last game rather, where they kill onto Mark. It's not gonna happen still. One node apiece here, and as you mentioned, we do see the gate picked up here for free. From blue team thieves now going for it toker's not gonna be able to get the decap into zenius for free he's gonna be able to follow him but that's not really the main focus here hannibal with the lich getting some early damage out zaroma is still gonna be kiting here he does have his lich available and he's gonna be liching up himself now but he's pretty pressured they do need to be careful that their necro doesn't go down but they are gonna be able to turn some pressure now onto Murr, who's gonna be more of the focus target here from team usa zaroma's with a decent bit of shroud as well as Murr's is gonna be forced into the rf to try and keep himself alive anya actually gonna be pretty low himself zaroma's 
Still going to be pressured out by skill cap, but they just cannot find the kill on this necro. He's kiting for all he's worth. The rest of his team trying to kill for him as well. But finally, the kill does come through. The knock is not going to be there. Unfortunately, the res started up here now by Team the USA. Storm. The stop is just a little bit sooner. And that's going to be a kill confirmed onto the necro from Team USA. Naru now going to be pressured out here as well, and he's going to be the next kill picked up here by Skillcap if they can keep that pressure on. He doesn't have his RF available anymore, and a really nice job training that Necro down, but if they just can't get anything else off, it might not be enough. But that is going to be Team USA Shook, a decisive victory here for Skillcap on Temple. Yeah, I, I think this is, if Naru's able to get away, oh, Naru does get caught there. That would have been really good if he'd able to escape there, but yeah, he had he burned everything during that fight to try and keep Zeromus alive and get that clear, just not able to survive quite enough and we'll see that skill is going to be able to get the map though we're going to see uh it's going to be a, a range of very exciting a ranger versus ranger double <laughs> knockback 1v1 there and both teams exactly even uh, currently uh, in this match there, but you know, certainly a good start there for Skillcap. If they're able to maintain that, they may have a great time. Anya is ultra pressured, trying to contest mid to make sure uh, that we can at least get some pressure on that from Skillcap. He's going to be forced to use the heal skill pretty soon, I think, or at least back off significantly uh, in this match. And we actually do see Yura actually leave the 1v1 into Helio and come and help this fight on mid. So maybe not feeling super confident into that. And we've got this Thief 1v1 too. And yeah, Toka coming out ahead there. And so I think maybe just like overall, just kind of matchups there uh, for Team USA just coming out favorable. Like it seems like the Ranger just having the edge there and the kill from Toka uh, there onto the Blue Thief as well. That's a fantastic, really, really good kill. Because that's actually going to essentially lead to a three cap on the map uh, right now for Team USA. Yeah, and Zeromus does fall. But again, still have not getting very much value off of those first two kills over Temple, and it's going to be matched by the kill on Xenius as well, just slowing down the rotations. We'll see the first buff coming up as well in about 20 seconds. Stillness going to be coming on the map very soon, and side nodes go the way of Team USA. Middle node will probably be picked up here for free as Naru is going to go down here. No one able to contest that. Zerantin's going to get the free cap, but Stillness is definitely going to be a very important point of contest here. A little bit of an advantage on the map, though, just based off of respawn timers here for skill cap. They might be able to put pressure on the side nodes if they're going to force Team USA to try to contest the stillness. And we do see the Alter Decap here, but they just need to be getting a little bit more off of these kills, I think. And then we'd be able to see them pushing ahead at the moment. It's going to be the Thieves again into this 1v1 on the mid. Yeah, they're doing, they're, I mean, they're definitely holding their own within this game. They even have the kill advantage so far uh, overall. But as you say, I think this is where um, Team USA's rotational expertise is helping them, right? Even when they lose that player, they yeah. only lose one player. They immediately disengage and they move around the map to compensate for that. Now, Toker is very, very pressured, but he's going to be looking to push uh, almost directly into this and try and get rid of Yura. And with, with Mark, that could be very dangerous for the Ranger, actually. But no, it looks like he's actually the Thief is going to move away and maybe try and do something with the buff there. But yeah, mid did get decapped, actually. Uh, Nora to get that Nara is in a bit of trouble there. He does have Reflex for the Lich, which is going to be good, but he's still going to end up burning quite a lot of his abilities here as the Necromancer are pushing in pretty damn hard. He should be okay for a while, though, as the team now has arrived to at least peel from a little bit. He's also in a pretty good position terrain-wise to hold on there for a little while. But once again, we find the map completely neutral in this situation with nobody gaining any additional points. And skill cap was able to get the buff. If they can actually grab uh, this cap here on mid, they'll actually get a few ticks of uh, stillness. I believe, and that will certainly help them regain their lead. And you know, there we go. I think that should help them generate some more points. And there we go. We do see that. But if Murr dies here, that's so bad. There's the renewed focus and uh, going to try and go for some more resistance. The team comes in for the peel. Oh, the he contemplation the of purity. Oh, no, he can't get He can maybe get a knock. He's kiting for all his worth. Gets to the heal. Team. Actually, might be able to get away with this. Oh, but doesn't have the Aegis heal skill. That is going to hurt. And this might be a dead firebrand pretty soon. Oh, actually, he does manage to somehow get away with it. Well, lovely play there uh, by Murr to survive that, but still very low on cooldowns. Doesn't really have anything left for the upcoming fight, and I think that's going to be a problem. Oh, Zeromus goes down, though. Um, again. Uh, and Toker Anya. might go down as well. Toker is going to be dropped as well over towards the node, and he's going to be taken out, so that's going to be forcing Team USA to kind of pick between one. They can't get both. They do get Zeromus up. Toker is going to be back out in respawn for another 10 seconds. Anya, though, very low, and Team USA definitely can still continue to fight into this, even without their Thief. Murr going to be so very pressured out still, as you said, with no cooldowns. Anya, pretty low as well. They should be able to get this res. I don't think Naru and Mark are going to be able to stop it. There's still so much cleave coming down onto Murr. They're actually almost going to be able to stop that, and he does get cleaved out! That cleave is just insane from Team USA. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's what we need to see from Skill Captain securing some of these kills, right? Uh, but uh, yeah, and, they, and that fight once again turns. And you know, Skill Cap, you know what the tragedy of this is? They actually have the map right now. Like if they've been able to hold that, if they've been able to not lose that fight and somehow hold it for at least while, well, they'd be okay to get ahead in the game. But they're just not gonna be able to quite do it, unfortunately for them, by the looks of this. I don't think. 
the other thing too is I think that um, while obviously getting a kill in and of itself is going to be good, getting the kill on Toker is not nearly as impactful as getting the kill on almost anybody else, especially when they're on middle node. If they were fighting over at altar, it might have been a little bit more difficult for him to get back to the fight quite as fast, although on the Thief, he's obviously going to be the fastest player and able to get back into the fight quite quite quickly. But again, they were just so low, they weren't able to peel for Anya, and excuse me, for Mur, who was just out, completely out of cooldowns. And even though Naga didn't have his RF either, from pretty much all that fight, they weren't able to capitalize on it. Zeromus as well, just able to get back up and res, and it just it just was not in their favor. And again, getting the kill on Toker, not bad for sure, but it just wasn't enough. They needed to follow it up or potentially go for a different target first. And at the moment, again, I, I think their targets are maybe a little bit split. We do see the second set of buffs coming up, though. Stillness is going to be up again, and Tranquility for the first time here now is going to be unfortunately contested there as Urantian and Dracozult. Helio is going to be, they're just going to be AFKing down here instead of actually fighting each other. And that will probably be the rest of this game. Yeah, it's a gentleman's agreement, and, and that often exactly. does happen with Tranquility, that, you know, the, the teams, they have to put a player there, but none of them can really get it, right? It, it's kind of like, oh yeah, this is just a permanent fourth node, we have to contest now, and that's because of the nature of the beast, right? Like, you can't really ever afford to give that up. That will immediately three-cap the entire map if you're able to channel that, so there's no wiggle room there. You must contest that for essentially the entire of the game, and Toka does get caught there uh, in the quest to try and kill Hamlet. Hamlet actually makes to Shroud as well. The Lich comes out, um from Zeromus to try and counter pressure for that. And I think Hannibal is in still a lot of trouble. And Hannibal does go down. And is that going to be resible? It's not going to be easy, I don't think, um, for, for skill cap to get that. And, you know, I don't think they can actually. Like, going for We're it. on top of it. He might can. be able to get this. There just might not be enough cleaves. Yenius is going in here. But no, Murr, unfortunately, overextending. Zeromus low. But that's going to be two players now picked up. And again, the res is just not as good from skill cap as we do see from Team USA time after time after again. Hannibal starting to get resed up a little bit again as Zeania coming in here. But no. That is not going to happen, and Team USA are going to maintain this lead by about 38 points. As yeah. We, we do see Nara going for the Altar Cap, and Xenia is going to be able to pick up still, uh, excuse me, the Temple for free, but either way, Stillness is going to be picked up as well, and that'll be a quad cap here with Altar as well as the Gate going the way of Team USA. And they're very much decisively uh, ahead right now. Uh, as well uh, in that game now getting a few of those kills and you know, interestingly enough like skill cap still actually has more kills over the entirety of the game they've certainly been having some really good exchanges but i think this really you know i think team usa deserves a lot of credit for being able to have this ability to not throw fights right like they're doing a really good job of that and recover right like even when they lose a player they're like, okay right we get the you get the res on zeromus and we just keep fighting we get the kill right they've burned a lot of cooldowns let's just pressure them and then we win right let's just get the turn around and then away we go and that's kind of been the story of this game Game. It's, it's almost like skill cap has kind of had the tempo at the start of the fight right been able to control these fights but then they kind of like they fall into the trap of team usa and then the res comes through and then the fight completely swings on its head completely i i, I think it probably comes down to cooldown usage to be honest i think team usa are potentially just holding onto their cooldowns a little bit better and again maybe skill cap has an extra kill or two over team usa but i i think at least a third of those kills are on toker and again that's just not as impactful on the fight as getting a necro down as getting a firebrand down and team usa consistently are able to find those kills and we now see the stillness with the triple cap coming out here for team usa and that almost certainly will be game here over with uh, team usa taking it 2-0 as they are going to be quickly ticking their way to 500 points. Yeah, that actually ends the game, even from quite a large point disparity. The game is going to be ending uh, in about 40 seconds, actually, based off that. Of course, that will slow down when uh, when stillness evaporates in you know, a relatively short period of time. But yeah, that is essentially going to be GG. But I think a skill cap have definitely demonstrated they're an incredibly powerful team here. Uh, a very, very strong contender uh, for the NA server. It wasn't, yeah. A some, some, couple of pretty good moments here from Skullcap for sure. We do see Nara actually in downstate, but so is Hannibal and Anya. Xenius, Mur, all going to be extremely low and unable to contest that. But yeah, definitely some good moments here from Skullcap. I definitely like to see it. I think they're playing better than we saw them previously in the qualifier last weekend. But unfortunately, it's just not quite enough to contest Team USA, and they are not going to be able to continue to do so. That being said, again, yeah, definitely some good stuff from them, and... We won't see them gone forever. They will have a second chance to get back out of the lower bracket if after they lose this game and this match. But uh, yeah, GG's and Team USA with the 2-0 over skill cap. Indeed. Very well played there by both of them. I think GG has essentially been called. We see a bit of AFKing uh, going on from these skill cup players. That is essentially going to be game over uh, for this and then the match end.
There it is. GG, well played. Skill cap descend to the lower bracket. Team USA advance onwards. And now we get to see a little bit of dark USA. Oh, look at oh, oh look at that stillness curve. My goodness on the timeline. That is brutal. When you have that three yeah. cap with stillness. My goodness, that game ends quickly.